Today's trends in transportation. Well, here to speak with us about that today, Bart DeMunk, Vice President of Research at Gartner. Bart, welcome. Thank you, Russell. Very happy to be here. Bart, it's clearly a big, big area, transportation, but let's talk about the trends that you are seeing in your research there at Gartner. What would you say? Walk us, walk us through that. Sure. If you see transportation has become very popular, it used to be a bad word 25 years ago and now everyone has a common interest in transportation. Why? It's a big part of the customer experience, a big part of the delivery experience. So we see a lot of evolution in how people do transportation. A big part of that is investing in technology. We see that in last mile, we see it also in over the road. So there's a lot of different areas people are really focusing on that drive transportation efficiency and in the end, make customers happier. Well clearly when you're talking about supply chain, when you're talking about logistics, clearly you have to talk about transportation at some point. It's an important node, if you will, in that chain, wouldn't you agree? Yes, very much so. I mean, you can manufacture the best product in the world, you can market it in a way, you can sell it, but it's still important to have the product to arrive there safely and in a manner that's in, you know, I would say, the way that the customer wants to. Because in the end, anyone that manufactured product wants to get paid for that. And you can't pay if you can't ship the product. Not to mention that you want it to arrive on time. Let's talk about the technology then and the role that it is playing in these trends that you're talking about. What would you of say? Of course, Russell. So you talk about on time, right? So visibility has become a hot buzzword. And visibility isn't necessarily new because we've had EDI messages, but the world today has changed quite a bit. We're living in a world where everything is high velocity. We have short order lead times, short delivery lead times. People want to know where the product is at any point in time because it affects their supply chains. And that's just as much so on the customer side. And we're living in a world where everyone is now being used with kind of Amazon getting everything and having visibility to everything they order. And that's the same really on the business side. And people can use that visibility to become more efficient because once a product comes in, that's drive a lot of other parts of the supply chain. Mm -hmm. Well, clearly that real-time tracking is something that is of immense importance, not just to the end consumer, but as you say, in the B2B world as well. Correct, and that's where we've seen a lot of investment. We see a lot of VC money going into this space. There's new technology vendors coming into the market, and we're seeing even companies that have been long time established players in the supply chain space evolving their solutions, and visibility is a big part of that. And customers are buying it. I mean, I would say in my area of transportation technology, Closely behind transportation management solution, visibility is really kind of the hottest areas of where companies are investing in. Mm -hmm. If I asked you to put your, um, to look into your crystal ball, to look down the road a year or maybe two, let's talk about the strongest growing areas of technology in the transportation space that you see, that you've identified at Gartner. What would you say? Yeah, I would say besides the visibility, which we already discussed, I would say advanced analytics is a very important area. It's growing, why? You can't control what you can't see. So analytics is a really important area for people to get insights to drive their business, to drive higher quality for the customer, and at the same time drive better efficiencies internally. So in analytics, we'll see a lot of investment of companies in either standalone analytics solutions as well as analytics inside of maybe their TMS or other supply chain management suite application. And I would say the second part that we see a lot of importance is last mile delivery in the way we do that and the technologies that go with that. Some of them being not so new, like vehicle routing and scheduling, but doing that completely different, maybe through the use of AI and machine learning that helps us understand the customer better and help us make decisions of how to plan things in a different way. Mm -hmm. If I were to ask you once again to continue looking into the future, the question were to be, where do you see transportation technology going next? What would you tell me? I would say similar to other parts in supply chain, we go more to what we call the autonomous supply chain. 
So from going reactive to proactive to going autonomous, because we're starting to see those technologies developing, and we're starting to see the first parts of that with things like autonomous trucks and autonomous delivery vehicles. We more recently had the first autonomous dispatched autonomous vehicle with LoadSmart and Starsky Robotics as an example, and we're seeing many of more of those coming. So I think in the future, with the things that we're challenged with, with quality, with driver capacity, with you know, the, the issues we have in transportation with high rates, doing things more autonomously, that's where we're trying to get to and that's where people are investing heavily in. Indeed, an exciting future that you see for us coming uh, ahead. Bart, you're busy here at the uh, conference, but you found time to speak with us. We thank you very much. I appreciate the time, Russell, thank you. It's Bart DeMunk. Gartner is speaking with us today about some exciting technology developments in the world of transportation. Thanks for watching.